COVID-19 is still spreading widely in China. Daji Yuan cited a person named Fu Ming in Jiangsu, saying that the disease had never stopped. During the Lunar New Year, his entire family was infected, coughing for two weeks before any recovery. Fu said that many of his neighbors also cough and have symptoms like him, and these are the symptoms of people infected with COVID-19. Xiao in Chengdu, Sichuan, shared the same thing with Daji Yuan. Xiao also said that COVID-19 is still there. He added that many colleagues around him were infected with the disease, but everyone avoided saying that they were infected with the virus from Wuhan. Other sources in Beijing, Hubei, Shanghai, and Harbin also told Daji Yuan that many people had been infected with symptoms similar to those of COVID-19 patients in their localities. After suddenly lifting the blockade after three years, the Chinese regime and their media have avoided mentioning COVID-19. Instead, they talk about people suffering from fever, flu, or related lung diseases. A doctor in Wuhan, Hubei, revealed to the outlet that the Chinese government is trying to prevent the phrase COVID-19 from appearing in medical records. Doctors were forced to diagnose people with COVID-19 as suffering from other diseases. Observers believe that there are two reasons why the Chinese regime avoids mentioning COVID-19. Firstly, the Chinese regime has suffered the consequences of their zero-COVID policy based on lockdown. The Chinese economy is in deep crisis, and there is no way out. Therefore, they do not want the disease to affect the market, production activities, investor opinion, or customers. Secondly, the CCP has never admitted to being wrong. Even though its policies killed millions of people during the Great Famine of the 50s, the Great Cultural Revolution which followed, the Tiananmen Massacre in 1989, and the One Child Policy from 1979 to 2015. This time, it's the same with COVID. The CCP does not mention COVID-19, implying that it has disappeared thanks to the CCP's zero-COVID policy.